It's time for No History, No Self with Professor Brandon Riley. When you hear the term Filipino time, what comes to your mind? Being late to something, right? Terrible, especially if you're the one who is late to the party. Yet there was once something that in fact could be called Filipino time that was very different from what we mean when we say it today. Filipinos before Spain, in fact, had all sorts of culturally specific, complex ways of reckoning time that are now long forgotten. Today on No History, No Self, we will attempt to recount something of these ancient modes of thinking of time. First thing to note, Filipinos before the 1500s were fundamentally an agricultural people. So their notions of time were bound up with changes of the seasons, the movement of the stars, the sun and the moon, and to other signs in the observable world that they could discern. Accordingly, for ancient Filipinos, time was very different from our notions today. Um, they didn't break things down into, for instance, from the smallest unit to largest, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years in quite the same way. The exception to this was among Muslim peoples in the Southwest, who as early as the 1300s began to reckon time according to Islamic notions. For ancient Filipinos, time was cyclical, endlessly repeating. For them, there was something like a distant past, a past, and a present, which to us are, of course, all very vague notions of reckoning time. Time for them, in its most basic unit, was divided into something that was like, but not exactly as neatly defined, as hours. These hour-like units were determined by the position of the sun, and measured, for instance, by raising one's arm against the sun and seeing the way the sun fell against it, much in the way a sundial works today. The position of the sun, or later on the moon, determined what hour it might have been. Um, and there were many specific terms for these points in the day or night. Following these hour-like divisions, pre-Hispanic Filipinos had notions of units like weeks, which is several days, um, and even uh, something of months, several weeks. These month-like units were based on the lunar calendar, the time between the appearance of one moon to the next. More variable than our months today, they nonetheless did provide an accurate sense of the passage of time similar to a 30-day period. Twelve of these lunar months added up to something like an ancient Filipino year. But these years, however, were not calendric years as we reckon them today, because our dates, uh, dates according to our schemes, are fixed and repeating. For example, what was uh, June 15th last year will be June 15th this year, and so on and so on. Instead, for ancient Filipinos, these months were determined by harvest seasons, which of course varied according to the lunar calendar and other factors. To imagine what this is like today, simply ask one of our Muslim sisters or brothers because their holidays are based on the lunar calendar. And because of this, they vary from year to year. One example, Ramadan last year began on June 17th. This year, it will begin on June 5th. Next year, on May 27th, thereabouts. Most of our words in Filipino for time come from Spanish ones. Date itself is pecha, like the months are junio, days are like miércoles. All of these are localizations of Spanish terms. This fact may be used to conclude that the Spanish simply imposed their way of thinking of time and we simply accepted. But what our pre-Hispanic history shows is that we had similar concepts in place long before Spain, hours, days, months, years which made this act of translation possible in the first place. If, for instance, we didn't call the time between harvest taon, then we couldn't think of a thing called a year. In other words, older Filipino notions of time were no less inventive, useful for their circumstances, and even scientific than the Spanish ones that displaced them. And in many ways, they were more elaborate and poetic than that of the colonizers. So, next time someone accuses you of being on Filipino time, Explain to them, well, it's because Filipino time is so much more complicated.